Hi, I'm Mr. Derrick. I'm the instructor in the Digital Print and Design Technology Program at Western Technology Center. And we're going to discuss the safety features of our program and I'd like to show you the shop. So here we go. So this is our shop. As you can see, it's a pretty large space and we have several safety features that are located throughout the shop that the students are required to know. They have to know where all of these uh, elements are and they have to know what they are. The first thing we have is our first aid station. This is where we have our required notices, federal notices, things like that, but we also have our safety information, emergency response guide, a student or staff member, anyone can go to this to find out given protocols on safety procedures for the campus. Rescue breathing, emergency first aid, and things like that. This is also where our first aid kit is located. And uh, it is Z Medical comes and they have things that fall out of it, which is good. Now, um, it's full of, they keep it stocked with all the supplies we need uh, from time to time. This is also where our biohazard uh, disposal kit is located. And our main eye wash station is also located here. We try to test this uh, weekly if we can. We have very hard water here at our school and it tends to clog up, so it's a good thing we try to test it. In this room here, just to the side of the first aid station, this is where we keep a lot of our, uh, a lot of our tools that we don't use necessarily on a daily basis. Safety glasses. Believe it or not, it's something we don't use a whole lot of in our program. It's not required for the equipment that we have, but yet we keep those. They're available to the students. Sanitizing equipment for those are located here. So if we have something we need to use them for, they are available to the students. I'll go ahead and show you uh, on the floor, we have clearly designated our shop area from area where people can walk. Basically the carpeted area is anybody can be there. Uh, and then we determine where the shop starts by this yellow, yellow and black caution tape. So we mark that off. Anywhere the tile is, that's off limits to anyone who hasn't passed the safety test in this program. We have mats on the floor. They also use a safety color code, uh, green being the code for first aid. So the safety mats throughout the shop, you'll notice those as we go through, they'll be orange for elements that can cut, crush, or otherwise injure, things like that. So we have a lot of that throughout the shop. Uh, this is our dark room. I might just show this real quick. We're working on the dark room at the moment. Uh, they're putting in new heat and air, which was a safety concern, believe it or not. We had some things growing inside of our ventilation system and that's not good. But this is where our second uh, eye wash station is located. We also have a fire extinguisher located here. I might point out another feature that was put in since I became instructor in this program, and that is the, uh, the door that you see over there that's open at this time goes back to the mechanical room. Uh, this door is now, it immediately locks once it's shut, so students cannot get back there into that area. We do have an asbestos issue that has been encapsulated, so that's something that we try to keep the students away from, and that was one way we did it. We put a, a self-locking door on there. We have three electrical cutoff buttons in the shop. These are located spaced throughout the work area. And immediately when this uh, bump button is activated, power is shut off to all the machines within this area and in the digital press room, which is just behind where the camera is. Real important, students understand this, um, but these are located spaced all throughout the shop. And we'll go back this direction. You notice here in our vinyl graphics area, again, we have our mats color-coded. This is an item that could potentially cut. It's a lot safer than it used to be, which is good. At the end of this area is where we currently have our material safety data sheets located. We found this is a more central location. Um, think about moving them to the first aid section just to have them out of the way. But for the time being, this is immediately accessible to all the students in case something should occur. We also have our sharps container here. This is where we use all of our blades for vinyl graphics, uh, sign making, 
things of that nature. So we keep a sharps container here to properly dispose of uh, hazards like that. We have our next electrical cutoff here as well. And from vinyl graphics, we move into our bindery area. This is our paper binding, folding, cutting, uh, making notepads, things like that. That all takes place in this area. And the more, in my opinion, the most dangerous piece of equipment we have is the paper shear, the hydraulic paper shear. Um, it, can definitely cut crush. It's an old machine. It does not have new safety features. Um, new, newer machines have safety features which if it detects any kind of flesh basically it will shut the machine off. We don't have that feature so students have to understand how dangerous this machine is and what it can do. We clearly mark behind the machine on a sign the rules for this machine. Students pass a test on this machine. They understand it and it's always in front of them what this machine can do. We also have an electrical cutoff right next to the machine. One operator here at all times, but we don't like people to operate it by themselves just in case something happens. If they were to get caught in the machine, we want someone here to be able to hit that bump button and shut the power off. And again, we mark the area with our uh, orange mat knowing that this is potentially a hazardous, definitely a hazardous machine. We do the same thing with our paper folder, our standing floor model paper folder. Guards are in place on this machine, as you can see here, to keep fingers and things away from the rollers. Um, guards alone aren't enough. We try to train the students to know, to be aware of loose clothing, drawstrings on hoodies, um, things like that. And again, we march it with something that could cut, mark, mark, mark it, not march it, with something that can crush or cut. And we do that with all the equipment in the bindery area. Another thing that we deal with in the graphic arts department are potentially flammable chemicals, adhesives, padding compounds. We don't deal so much with uh, inks anymore as much as toner, which is not as flammable. So we keep a lot of that away, but we still have uh, proper containers for items that could be flammable, could combust, contain odors that can do that. We have several cabinets here to hold these items. Clearly marked. And close by, we also have one of our four fire extinguishers that's located in the program. Each one being specific to the type of fire that's probably going to occur in our shop. You'll notice we also have our, on the wall, we have our storm shelters, we have uh, fire exits located. The room that we're standing outside of right now is our storm shelter. And you can see that marked here. This room is uh, tornadoes, things like that. But this is also our intruder safe room in case there's an active shooter on campus, some kind of unwarranted intruder that is more threatening than just a lockdown situation. This is the room that we go to. We have two sets of barriers for that. Um, one door shuts and locks, and then should need be, the students are in here, the door shuts, the door locks, and we barricade ourselves in. Since I've started this program, since I came on, we have replaced the wooden doors, the hollow core wooden doors with solid steel doors that lock. Uh, this, this works out a lot better for us in case we need to escape from the building in an event like that, we do have an outside exit available to us close by. We also have to have proper ventilation in our graphics shop. That's part of the safety protocols we, we have here. We've installed a new ventilation system. We can exchange the air from this shop in three minutes. We can pull it all out, have fresh air in the shop using this. With our new heat and air system, it may actually be faster, but this is a, this is a great unit this is going to come in handy when we start doing our screen printing. Um, we've got brand new screen printing equipment that we're going to be using. Most of that is non-toxic. We try to use things that students won't need to use such harsh chemicals. But this is a, this is a great thing to have in the shop. When we ran our offset press, which we don't run anymore, we keep it here just so the students can actually see it. A lot of solvents, lots of chemicals and things. So it was very important to have this ventilation system. 
We try to keep the students aware right from the start of class where to go if there's a problem, if there's an emergency. The students get a map that looks something like this. It's blank. They have to mark all of these items that I've just, I've just shown you. All of the fire extinguishers, eyewash stations, first aid, MSDS. Where do we go if there's an intruder in the building? Where do we go if there's a tornado? The students actually mark uh, this on a map themselves that they turn in to me. Clearly marked everywhere inside the classroom, inside the shop. Fire extinguishers easily located. So we have a lot of safety features throughout the shop that allow us to stay safe, that allow us to work in a, in a nice environment that the students can feel comfortable in. And we know that uh, if anything occurs, we're ready for it.